We're now in New York City, a driving nightmare, but a great place to test new kinds of cars. You're about to see another alternative to an internal combustion engine, not an electric, not a hybrid, something else. Meet Silvio Martinez, a typical New York City cab driver, except for one thing. When he fills up the tank in his cab, it isn't with regular gasoline. Silvio uses something different. Smith. Yeah, you need gas. What is this cup? What no. is it? Electricity? No, this is natural gas. Natural gas. Natural oh. gas. Uh -huh. <laughs> natural gas. <laughs> That's right, natural gas. The same type of gas some people use to heat their homes and cook their food. Silvio's taxi has been especially built to run on natural gas. He's part of a growing effort to use it. And why not? Okay. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye. It's cheap, and it is 50% less polluting than regular gasoline. Anjo. Yes. Do you know that you're running on a car or a CNG car? Compressor natural gas car? Sounds good to me. Who doesn't run on gasoline? You sure we're gonna make it all the way there? Every two yeah, thousand. Two knots. And two knots. What every about two knots. Two knots the same. It's I can go one hundred thousand miles on this car. I pay for a gallon of gasoline about dollar fifty. Right. Using natural gas, you know how much I use? How no. much I pay? How much? Dollar fifteen. So maintaining the vehicle alone, you don't have to put so much effort as you do with gasoline. Right. You got that one right. I lived in London for several years, and okay. the air there was so bad, and the reason for that was that all the taxis are diesel. You're making a profit. Yes. Uh, it's healthy for the environment and yes. the planet. Yes. And see going. It's not the sky wow. down from there. It's, like, it's just like, just, just like uh, it's steam. steam. It's steam, it's steam. Yeah. absolutely. You smell it. It's nothing sky down. Wow. Now it's smell it. It's nothing sky I like that. It's <laughs> He didn't have to make any radical changes to use natural gas in his car. He still has to go to a gas station. So if natural gas is so great, why aren't we all driving around in natural gas vehicles? One obvious drawback, if you take a look in the trunk, is space. Natural gas tanks take up a lot of room. You'd think well, a cabbie would have a real problem with that. About, I don't mind having no space in the trunk because you have to give, you have to to give something in order to receive. I'm receiving a lot of incentive on the car using natural gas. It's cheaper uh, to maintain the car. It's gonna cost me less money. For that reason, I give them something. I give them half of the space that I have in the trunk. Natural gas looks great on paper. It runs very well in cold weather because it doesn't have to turn to a gas. It is a gas. We have a lot of natural gas in this country. But if you go out and buy a car that will run only on natural gas and you want to drive it across country, you'll starve to death before you make it. Another reason natural gas cars have had a hard time selling is that many people think they're unsafe. They fear that a natural gas tank could explode. Are we any more likely to blow up if someone runs into us? No, no, we are... Less likely? No, 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 no. Don't think about <laughs> explode or something like that. This no, is it's New York. I'm in a taxi after all. Absolutely, but this is safe, very safe. One thing Silvio learned to trust is the safety of his natural gas tanks. Because something happened to him while out driving. Something scary. Just before 9 Thursday morning, bus driver Charles Austin lost control behind the wheel. Unconscious but still accelerating, he drove the bus down Fifth Avenue, barreling into a lamppost, taxi cab, a bicyclist, and a delivery man before crashing to a stop in this corner store. All that was left was mangled wreckage. I step out from the car and walk about five feet from the door of the car. In my back, a city bus lost control, hitting down Fifth Avenue, and the bus was traveling about 75 miles per hour when they hit the car and brought the car about one block away. The whole body of the car is destroyed, but all the tank had the same, nothing happened to the tanks. Because it is a vapor, not a liquid like regular gasoline, natural gas is stored under intense pressure that could spell trouble but tank manufacturers believe that they've taken care of that problem. 
Natural gas cylinders are very durable. They're made out of uh, thick steel, they're covered with fiberglass, and we test them through all kinds of dramatic tests. They go through bonfires, we shoot bullets at them, they survive all of that. We joke around in the office that when, uh, when all of us are gone and the world is populated by cockroaches, they'll be sharing that world with natural gas cylinders because they'll still be here.